things up. <laughs>
Tango! Let's heat things up! time since we've had a boss fight, but hopefully Captain Flight Suit over there will be able to offer up a decent challenge. Golab here is a textbook example of a bluster, a character type defined by supplanting their unique design over having an interesting character, and usually only appears once in a video game and adds almost nothing to the experience. What does Golab do? He's a fire breather with a penchant for belching oil at places. That seems like it can cause extensive damage to respiratory systems, but what do I know about the logic of video games? It would have been interesting, but like the last two bosses this game had, Golab simply cannot deal out enough damage to put up any sort of threat. He can set you on fire, sure, but having 500 health and a partner to help throw rations around negates that completely. And then there's the issue of his flame attacks having a decent chance of whiffing, leaving him wide open. Simply put, Golab can't deal with having two mercenaries to deal with at once. Even his second phase doesn't add anything because he simply sets himself on fire. Golab doesn't run around to set th other things on fire, so it's only a danger for the same reason the oil slicks are, to morons who willingly step into briar patches. You put Golab down and he pettily starts the self-destruct sequence of the prototype factory because that's obviously something you would give to a mentally unstable experiment subject. <sighs> Video games.